we have a couple of iPad mini 4s that we need to work on. One of them came in because of no display, no backlight, and that happened after a screen replacement. Customer said there was a prior repair attempt on the tablet, but it was unsuccessful, and he hopes that we can fix this for him. I already removed the screen from the tablet, and let's take a look to see what's going on. The first thing I want to do is check the FPC connector area of the tablet to see if we see anything obvious. And already I see signs of flux here. And <laughs> I see a couple of issues. I see a missing backlight filter here. And I see what looks like a solder mask. It looks like a repair was attempted on this tablet. I see a bridge here. Signs of solder mask here. FEC connector looks good. We do not know if this component is good or not. And that's basically what I see wrong with this tablet. The tablet is not showing anything on the screen because of a missing backlight filter. The question is, how are we going to solder a backlight filter here if we have two missing pads? We cannot solder the missing component here no more. And we haven't exposed the ground layer here. The first thing we need to do is look at the board diagram to see where each trace is going to. One of the traces should be going to any one of the FPC connector pins, which could be any one of the components down here. And the other one is probably coming from left side of the board. Now, what's the easiest way to go at this? That's our FPC connector right here on the top. And then the filter that we have missing is this one. So one side of that filter runs to those two components. And those components are the ones that are currently bridged on the board. So the bridge here is no big deal because those two pins are supposed to be connecting together. And they connect with this pin on the FEC connector. And the other one, yeah, like I expected, somewhere on left side of the board, all the way over here. Hmm. So option number one, or let's call it option number two, we have to run a wire from any one of those left red dots that you see on the top left, all the way, we have to run it directly to one of those components or a combination of those two components. That will work. We do not have to have the filter in place. We can just have one straight wire. And option number one would be to try to see if we can solder the wire here to that point. I do see a tiny piece left on this pad. And from here, the wire goes to here. So instead of running the wire all the way from the top left to these components, we can attempt to first solder the wire from here onto here. If that works, great. If it's not possible to solder the wire to that pad here, then we're going to have to run it all the way to any one of those points on the top left. The first thing I want to do is mask this exposed ground layer here. So the wire does not make a connection with this point and ground, then we're going to have a short. You see how close this exposed ground layer is to the actual pin? Extremely close. I would say maybe half a millimeter. It looks big under the microscope, but this is microscopic. We can try it that way. We'll give it a shot. I'm trying to avoid having to run the long wire. You will have people in the comments saying, why would that person fix this? Stupid tablet, it's old. It doesn't cost much to buy a used one. Customer is not fixing this tablet for the sake of fixing this tablet. Most people do not fix tablets for the sake of fixing tablets, especially if the device is old. Customer wants it fixed because he has important pictures, important information on that tablet. And the only way to get that information would be to turn this tablet back on. Like a lot of the USB flash videos I have on YouTube where we are attempting to fix the flash drive so we can get the information, you see comments like, why would that person want to fix that flash drive? It's only 10 bucks. It's only 20 bucks. The guy is totally missing the point. He's watching the videos, but he is totally missing the point. That the point of fixing a flash drive is not 
for the sake of fixing the flash drive, but it's for the sake of data recovery. And that repair can cost three, four, five hundred dollars to get data for the customer. We're gonna apply UV light so we can harden that mask. Let's try to add a solder blob onto that super tiny point here. That's the biggest blob that we can add onto that point. Because the amount of solder you can add on to one point depends on the size of that one point. We cannot add a three millimeter blob on a one millimeter pad. I'm optimistic that we may be able to solder a wire here. And let's see. Can we do it? Yeah, I mean, it looks like it did make a connection. But we have to be careful. I mean, once this is soldered in, customer is not going to tamper with the inside. We're going to mask it and then we're going to close it. But right now, the wire is very weak, so maybe we can do this, and then we can do this. Okay, and the wire is making a good connection and those two components are supposed to be bridged so you're gonna get one person commenting why are those components bridged they are supposed to based on the board diagram that we looked at all we need to do is cut that wire What's important here is the information. Customer want to be able to turn the tablet on and save the information. And at the same time, use the tablet if it's usable. If not, that's okay. But the tablet should work. That should be enough. Hopefully everything is good. Now, if for whatever reason we found out that this method is not gonna work, then we're gonna have to run the wire all the way from those two components to left of the board. Okay, so the mask is good, and it's hard like a rock. Now all we have to do is test and see if we get an image on the screen or a backlight. What we fixed right now has to do with the backlight, and when there's no backlight, you're not going to see anything on the screen. Image is going to be very, very dim.
I just want to show you what was done here and how microscopic these things are. And the battery. Nothing blew up yet. And assuming the battery is charged, yes, it's on. We fixed the problem. We did not have to run the wire all the way to left of the board. It's working and I'm just going to wait until it boots up. We're going to close it, seal it, and call the customer to come and pick up. Customer will never have to deal with what's going on on the inside. We have the wire secured down in place. And yes, right there, right there. Awesome, awesome. The job is done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.